buddy's here. We always love when he stops by. Hey. Our next guest has seen it all. Yes, he has when it comes to fashion trends, but sometimes creativity has its limits. Here to talk about some of the latest bizarre fashion trends that we should all avoid, give it up for designer and former Project Runway superstar, Christopher Straub, everyone. I've seen it all, Jason. You've seen it all, I've Christopher. It. I've been there, I've seen it you've all. You've seen it all, I mean, you've seen it. You've literally, you've seen it in person. No, I've been, I've been at fashion shows where like, like H Hoda, like from Hoda Kathy Hoda, Lee. Yeah. yeah. Like she she's she knows me. She's blowing me kisses and I'm sitting next to supermodels and and celebrities and and so I I lived that. Actually, that's a yeah. big thing. Yeah. Can I before we get to this list? Yes. Can I ask you a broad question? Broad away. Broad. Are is this a good fashion trend era that we're in? Cuz you know like the early 2000s, the era we're in right mm -hmm. now, are you personally, Christopher Straub, who has impeccable taste, are you enjoying we go. the era we're in right now? I love experimenting with fashion. So like, I I am applauding all of it. If it was front row, I like, if I was front row, I'd be applauding all of the oddness, yes. <laughs> That's so diplomatic. That's yes. so diplomatic. Yes. Okay. Because I'm an artist. Uh, before know, I'm a fashion designer, I'm an artist and I love uh, self-expression. Okay. All right now. You're very diplomatic. <laughs> it's hoping you would spill the tea, but whatever. <laughs> okay, here we go. We have a list. All right. Bizarre fashion trends. Number one, my dear friend. Yes. Too many cutouts. So cutouts are different than a nude illusion, right? We know what, it, like a nude illusion is like you're fully covered, but then there's like rhinestones and flowers and stuff. The problem with cutouts is that leaves us a place for, for oh. like you, I, I would be worried about looking at somebody to my left or to my right or crossing my legs or taking a stride that's too far. I mean, this is by. <laughs> that's like, and so and so and a those stride are stride that's a stride, too far. A stride too far. The Christopher like, Straub story. That's yeah, your right? biography. Yeah. Uh, but and those are and those are looks by some huge fashion houses. Uh, one of your favorites, Burberry, and then Balmain is the other Balmain. Is that it's, how you pronounce it? Yeah, it's not Balmain. If yeah, but yeah, Balma, Balma, Balma? Is that was the uh, the white look worn by uh, Lupita Nyong'o. Balma. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll I, hey, I'll correct. I'll have you, you have that. you done? Because hello, yes. Christopher's a designer. Hello. Yes, I design. Have as you well. done any cutouts in your world? I'm not a cutout kind of guy. I just, it's not my taste. <laughs> I just wanted you to say that, yeah. so that's why I asked you that question. It's not my taste level. Okay, next. Oh, I'm with you on number two. Okay. Bleached eyebrows. Oh my gosh, what a jarring fashion trend. I mean, we went from a giant brow, a bold brow, to a non-existent brow. And we are, we are looking at some odd, that's Kim Kardashian on the left. No, it's not. Yes, see, that's the thing, it changes your face. And, and uh, Gigi Hadid on the right. Like, you would not. Uh, that is, Christopher, I'm not. Really? Is that really Kim Kardashian? It is, yes. For, that's a cover of Interview Magazine. And we had to crop that photo, thank you very much. There was a lot going on below that jacket. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> um, do you see this ending quickly? I, <laughs> um, I, as with everything, I feel like it's, the bleach is the extreme. Yeah. I think we're going to go with less of that like dark, dark pencil then and maybe go a little bit more of a medium brown. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, <laughs> inflatable clothing. <laughs> what? So this is, this is, I've seen this more and more on the runways and the, the videos are really bizarre. And this is a, uh, an artist. Oh my goodness. Out of, uh, out of the UK, Jack Irving. This is, uh, now this is a show. Put me in that, but those people are getting poked in the front row, on the left or right. You want to be in, you want to be in the front row, except at this show. But there's a transformative quality to it because it uh, it expands, and then the model walks out of the look. Christopher, please do this look. Okay, please. I, all right. I want you oh, to come on something. now. Yes, Mama. Yeah. Like, look at you, that. You would you would applaud and scream oh, and hoot and holler. Yes. You'd be doing this thing where you're just like. You know, snapping your fingers at her. Yeah, let's do it. One more crazy. No, one more inflatable. Oh, one more inflatable. Oh, oh, oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah, so this is my new look for this is. Now, come <laughs> on. <laughs> no. This is winter in Minnesota. 
No. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we're getting yes. that for Aaron Schwab. Wait, what? Yeah, for how, her show. how do I get into the studio? Yeah, that's her, for her show that's this weekend. Yeah. Um, <laughs> finally, one more crazy handbags. Oh my gosh, Balenciaga is delivering the crazy with the handbags. And so a big one that made, uh, uh, made the news recently was this bag. It's a leather bag that looks like a, a, a garbage. It looks like a crumpled up Lay's potato chip bag. It's all leather, sells for almost $2,000. Oh, no, no. They no. also, and, and, and you wear it, when you put stuff in it, you zip it up at the top and you scr scrunch it up just like a bag of chips. And they also did like a take on an Ikea bag that costs over $2,000, those big blue Ikea bags. But look at this one. The glove is attached to the handbag. No. Yes. No. I'm ready. Okay, actually, I might wear that yeah, right. Schwab show this weekend. Yeah, <laughs> that's a look. That's a statement. That right is, there. yeah. You are saying something with yes, that one. Uh -huh. When we come back, we're playing a little game with Christopher Moore. When we return back after this, <laughs> that is nuts. <laughs> Welcome back. We're here with. Our friend Christopher Straub. Fashion Week in Paris just finished, and there were a few head turning looks. Oh, yeah. So we decided to play, we want to play a little game with Christopher. We're going to call it Vogue or Nogue. No. If we like it, we're going to hold up Vogue. If we hate it, Nogue. No. That's right. And these were going to be color, but we lost access to Fox 9's color printer. So we. We are no, no we are no longer allowed to have the color printer. They're you saving that. The, you don't have the code. No, they're saving that for enough said. Okay, here we go. Uh, first up, Kylie Jenner wearing a handmade lion head oh. at uh, Scaparelli. Thank you. There's Scaparelli. So this was one of the looks directly off of the runway. That's actually uh, it's not a real taxidermied head. It's embroidery and foam rubber and then hand painting to look like that. Okay, Christopher, Vogue or no? I'm giving you Vogue for most of these <laughs> bizarre things. Um, it is, for me, it is a hell no. Hell yeah. no. Yeah. Wait, yeah. can, I, can I overrule your Vogue? Oh, I did the wrong one. No, no. Okay, next, let's right. see here. Right. Christopher Straub. Oh. Let's see, Vogue or no? Oh, that is a Vogue. Vogue and a half. That is a nog for me. That's a nog. That is no. That is a vogue. That I is a normal no. accessory to wear. I dare you to wear that to Target. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. Is, is that a challenge? Yes. Next, Doja Cat. Crystals everywhere. All right. So this is thirty thousand hand applied crystals, a silk bustle, and then wood beads uh, going down the leg. I mean, this this is a jarring. It almost looks like a skinned, like that Body yeah. Worlds exhibit. Do you remember that? It does. Yeah, it does look like. So Vogue or no, Christopher? Well, okay. It's it's a little frightening, so I'm gonna say no. But I feel like we're gonna we're gonna see. You know that some queens are gonna like. Oh put, yeah. Like mimic this on the on Drag Race. So. Uh, it's a Vogue for me. I yes! actually like this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Next, Scaparelli, uh, a new women's power suit. Oh, she's ready to go, honey. Wait, this is this is exaggerated proportions. Um, I feel like, but this is done a lot in fashion. So if this does anything, it's gonna push traditional suit jackets out a little bit. And no one, this isn't an everyday wear. Holy Crystal Carrington, uh, yeah, that is, is Vogue for it me. Is, it is I giving love that. Vogue. It yeah. is giving Vogue for sure. Next, Robert Pattinson. At the Dior show, wearing a sparkly skirt. What do we think? This is the first time I'm seeing this. It's a. It feels a little um, disjointed. It does. Right. The 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 top and the bottom don't match. I think it's no. We're gonna say no. It's I think we're in agreement with. Yeah, no. it's very sloppy. I do not enjoy it. Yeah. No. Sorry, uh, everybody. Sorry, Robert Pattinson. We mentioned her earlier. Let's look at uh, Lisa Renna was in Paris. Here she is with a yellow beret and a colorful suit. Christopher, Vogue or no? It feels like a costume, I'm gonna say no. Yeah, I'm with you. It's very like Cuckoo the Clown. Yeah, yeah. it's like it's like one of those like- I love you, Lisa, I love you, but yeah, like I don't like that. It's a mystery murder train ride theme. And finally, Anne Double wears Prada Hathaway with a puffer coat. 
It's a puffer coat with a corset? From Versace. Yeah. What do we think? I don't know. I don't care for it. I don't either. No. It's a no on we'll this one, no. too. No yeah. No. You thought you were going to be voted on a lot of I did. I thought I was going to give you a lot of applause on that one. But alas, no. Oh. Um, oh I, I, have a, I have a brooch for you to try on. So, in honor <laughs> of the Scaparelli show, Oh, there it is, there it is. Or try off to the side. You're a tiger, you're Tony the Tiger. Yes, yes. Grr, baby, very grr. Dear PETA, it's not real. It's not real. Don't email it's me. Real. It's not real. Please don't email me, I love lions. This feels very weird, there we go. <laughs> Christopher Straub, everybody. You can follow him on social media, just search. Mr. I can't never pronounce that in eight seasons. We'll be right back, back in a moment. Stay with us. That was great. <laughs>